Yes. 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 Well, Mr Speaker, what a day. Uh, since 1992, when I first ever entered politics in the old Clyde Bank District Council, huh. I never thought for a day, first of all, I would be sitting here representing one of the greatest constituency in these islands, but I would listen to members of the government bench, with the exception of the, right, the Honourable Lady who just spoke for Broxton, I must admit. First of all, threaten the DUP with a united Ireland, that's a way to win friends and influence people, <laughs> and to which this disposition yesterday on the floor of the House of Commons by pulling this vote that parliamentary democracy might as well have fundamentally ended with a coup d'etat by the Government of the United mm, Kingdom. It is an extraordinary position when the executive fundamentally undermined the authority of the legislator. Yeah, yeah. And anyone in here who doesn't or haven't read a single book on political theory, you might as well go and read one now, because that is where we are at in terms of the democratic deficit in this political state. Um, it might also come as uh, no surprise, uh, Mr Speaker, that in these benches we have been consistent in terms of our support for the single market and the customs union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not making backdoor deals with yeah. others, as some others, even, I think, even the official opposition approaching the DUP, who seem to be winning friends and influencing people. Good luck to them. They at least got an offer of a, a, a backstop. We did not, even though we voted overwhelmingly to remain. Yeah, not only yeah, my own yeah. constituency. Every I have constituency. no doubt about Whole supporting country. Remain, given the fact that the industrial working class of Western Bartonshire voted overwhelmingly for Remain, yeah, but they also yeah, voted yeah. for their country to be an independent sovereign nation with a family of European yeah. nations. Yeah. Now, yeah, the other thing chance. that's been brought forward is the very <laughs> idea that chance. we should be joining the EEA, the Norway plus 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 stroke TK Maxx model. And I was listening to, um, I was actually reading Fintan O'Toole in the Irish Times this morning. Uh, when he was uh, giving us the idea about the EEA, because it's not just all about Norway, because he seemed to remind us we must forget, mustn't forget, Mr. Speaker, about the Grand Duchy of Liechtenstein. Oh yes, and, I and the, uh, the, 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 the Liechtenstein Constitution said grants a veto <coughs> over all laws to His Serene Highness Hans Adam II, Prince of Liechtenstein. Nice now there may be some in this place who want to hand it over to him, an unelected, unaccountable, hereditary, absolute monarch. I don't. And I would say to the right honourable gentleman, the Leader of the Opposition, do us all a favour, table the motion and no confidence, because I have every confidence that my constituency will not only vote for the Scottish National Party, they will vote to remain within the European Union, and time come May for my nation to take its place once again as an independent sovereign country. Yeah! You merry men. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's a pleasure to uh, follow the Honourable Member for West Dumbartonshire. I'm not sure I can quite follow his, his passion. I'll do my best. This